start by just sitting on the mat, crossing your legs here, and then just taking a moment, just breathing, feeling the sitting bones, pressing into the mat there, taking a big breath in and out. I'm gonna take your hands and place them right on top of your chest and sternum, right underneath your throat, and just pull down. As you feel yourself just sinking into the mat, you're gonna lift your chin up and feel a little stretch in the top of your neck. And start to bring it over towards the left side as you're pulling the skin down, feeling more space come between the ear and the shoulder. And then taking it up and over to the other side. Breathing there. And coming back to center, bringing your arms by your side, noticing if you're feeling a little bit taller in the neck and free. And then we'll take your arms out to the side. You're gonna bring your right arm on top of the left elbow as you cross, interlace your hands so that your hands are now touching. Lift your elbows up high, take a big inhale, expand your shoulders and then exhale, just press the shoulders down. The hands are away from your face, growing taller there. And then take the arms out to the side. Inhale big, take up the space. Exhale, we'll cross. Interlace your hands. Taking a big inhale, expand your shoulders. And exhale, press it down. Breathing there. And then we'll take your arms out to the side. Inhale and exhale down. We'll let someone else in here. Okay, so we're gonna reach over to the right side as you reach forward. Pressing both hips to the mat and feel how if you pull the belly button in, you can get a little bit more deeper there in that position. But continuing like that. And then keep going over to that right side as you open the left arm up. So now your right forearm is pressing to the mat, lengthening through that left side. And bringing it back to center, we're gonna walk it over towards the left, reaching on the corner, pressing both sitting bones to the mat and then start to bring the left arm down as you open the right up. All right, so now we're gonna to start to flow. We'll reach long with your right hand around and then reach up to the sky. And you reach around, curl through the belly and lift it up. Both sitting bones press and reach. And again, reaching up, bringing it back to center, curling through the spine. We'll switch legs that it's in front. And then you'll just place your hands on top of your knees. You'll start to curl through your back as you round through the lower back and then snake your body up as you come all the way up to sit. And we're just warming up the spine. So you'll curl back pressing against your knees as you try to come back up and reach through one more time that nice body wave curling back and reach it up and then we'll just reach forward all the way getting all of that little length in the low spine you can just shake it side to side and you'll round it up we're going to take your feet in front of you, just bending the knees here, and then bringing your hands underneath the pockets of your legs. You'll start to curl your spine, finding that rounded back. And now the elbows will be completely straight. 
Once they're straight, drop your shoulders an inch more, pull your belly button in more to your spine, and then you'll start to curl back up as you bend your elbows, bringing your head all the way towards the knees, and then body wave up to a flat back. We'll try that again. We'll curl through the spine, stretching out the elbows. And now try to lengthen the back, pull through the belly button more so you're finding more of a curve. Start to bend the elbows as you deepen the stomach and lift up. Three more like that, curl and round. Press the belly button to the spine and the mat. Use your arm strength to lift up. And one more time, curl it through. Pull back even deeper, find more roundedness in your back. Pull it forward. And lengthen up. And we're gonna start to curl down towards the mat, bringing your right knee into your chest. Breathing here. Exhale, pull it in a little bit closer. And exhale, pull it in a little closer. Now you'll keep that tight. Start to bring the hand behind your leg as you extend it up to the ceiling. And don't judge yourself here. Just be aware that the leg can be bent and still be getting a stretch, but try to resist that and just straighten it a little bit deeper on every exhale that you have. And pulling it closer, drawing those shoulders away. You'll flex your foot there and then reach through the toes as you point and flex and point. There's so many muscles in our feet that we need to stretch. Starting to make a circle with your foot as you really flex, keeping it close to you. Reach through each toes as you circle and switch. Last one there. You're gonna grab the outside of your leg, bending that knee and bring the knee into the right armpit as you find this half happy baby shape. That left leg is just lengthening to the mat and you're getting a nice stretch in that hip. Big inhale and big exhale. Taking the hand to the inside of your foot and then start to try to stretch the leg out so the knee is lengthened. You're trying to pull those toes to the ground while simultaneously pressing that left hip down. Big breath out there. Taking it back up. You can straighten the leg or bend it. I'm gonna try straightening it. Grab it with your left hand and then start to cross it over your body. I'm so tight in my legs that I might not even get all the way straight today. You can take that right hand and just start to press on the side of your thigh. So you're pressing into your IT band. Leg is still close to your body. And then starting to take it all the way over to that other side. And maybe you're just grabbing the toes, but you can try to just stretch that right leg out, sinking into the hip as if you're sitting in a chair, peel that right hip away from you. Big breath in there. And start to bring it back up. And now we're just gonna activate your abdominals a little bit as we press into that leg all the way and try to almost interlace your finger behind your thigh and use your glute muscle to almost break your hands. And then once you have that, notice all the space between your hip and your torso. You'll start to curl your upper body up and try to walk up your leg a little bit. As you're pressing that bottom leg down, you'll pull into your stomach and walking it back down without moving that leg. As if you're climbing a tree, let's try again. Curling in and lifting up. 
activating there and lower down one more time maybe you can get nice and high here and let's use a little momentum and try to lift all the way up now grabbing the back of that leg pull it in tight you have this rounded spine like you did in the beginning and just tell your body it's okay so you can relax here let that left calf just go free and left thigh go free You'll flex that foot and then point through the toes. And now you can find that you can stretch a little bit deeper. Notice if your right hip is higher and hiked up, just make them even, so press it away. Drawing those shoulders down one more time and circle with the foot. Finding that reverse. Good, and then you'll just Come up, grab the top of that foot, open it up. Find that little stretch there as you try to just twist towards the back of the room. And then bring it in and start to round back down to the floor, switching legs. So now we'll bring the left knee in and just breathe out as it comes closer to your body. Inhale big and exhale, pull it in. But once you get as close as you can, we'll start to grab the back of the leg and lift it to the sky. Drawing the shoulders to the mat here, flexing your foot and then reach through the toes and flex and point. Heel is reaching for the ceiling and then the toes all to the top of the foot. My leg is even shaking, <laughs> feeling that strong lower body pressing into the ground. We'll start to go for circles of your ankle. And just notice if your leg is inching away from you, pulling it in. And reverse. You'll start to grab the outside of that foot as you bend the knee. And the knee is going into the armpit as you just open it out to the side, flexing that foot to the ceiling. Big breath in and out to that left hip. Starting to grab the inside of your foot. And now you'll stretch the knee all the way straight as you bring it further side. Bottom leg is almost turning out. The knee turns out to the side. And then you'll start to lift it back up. Switching hands, you'll grab the outside of that foot as you go across over your body. And on this one, try to take that left hip and press it down. Breathing through that stretch, take that left hand and just massage the top of your thigh. And the side of that leg. Keep taking that leg over. You'll bring the left hand down and just twist. and just allowing the back to naturally fall into the mat with both shoulders. You'll take it, bend it, and take it back up to the ceiling. Interlacing your fingers behind your thigh. And you'll start to just try to turn on that left glute muscle as you pull it, squeeze it towards the other leg. And you're pressing that leg so much in your arms that you're trying to break your arms. What we're doing is just creating space in your lower body. Keep that glute muscle turned on if you found that. And then just start to curl through the body as you walk up that leg a little higher as you're pressing the belly button to spine. Legs stay exactly where it is, like a tree. 
and then you walk it back down. We'll try again, curling, lifting up and over something. As you walk it up, pull down with your abs and walk it down one more time. Let's get a little momentum as we lift up, reach for the ankle, pull it in. The forehead is to the knee and just drop those shoulders. Flex your foot and point those toes. Keeping it close to you. It's actually arm work to really keep this leg close. One more time, flex and point, making circles with the ankle. Draw the shoulders down. Relax your right thigh and reverse. Really flexing it. Good, and start to walk it down. Oh no, don't walk it down yet. Take it to the side and just twist. Pulling into the belly button. And then we'll walk it down back to center, all the way to the mat. Shaking out the legs there. And maybe you'll feel some space in the low back that you didn't before. I'm gonna take your arms over your head and we're gonna roll up with some momentum as we reach and stretch towards the toes. Lifting up, pulling back in your abdominals. You're gonna to try to take your hands, reach for the bottoms of the feet and try to connect your forehead to your knees. Pulling the tops of those toes. It's really like a spine stretch here. As you try to really pull into your belly button. And we'll start to curl down, rounding through the spine, tuck the pelvis, feel each vertebrae to the mat. Lengthen out in this flat back here, take a breath and exhale, roll up. Try to deepen the heels to the mat, lift through the stomach and reach over. And now this time in this position, we're gonna try to find a flat back as you pull your toes towards you, lengthening out your spine and try to lift the heels off the ground. That's how much you're pulling. It's gonna really get into those hamstrings. From that position, even though it hurts, try to lengthen the crown of the head and the face more to that diagonal ceiling. And then melt over your legs. You'll round your body up to a seated position. Open the legs so that they're a little away from the mat there. And then take your arms behind your head. Sitting up as tall as you can. Sits bones into the mat. We'll start to twist towards your left side and then connect the inside of your elbow towards the inside of your knee. Once you're there, open that left elbow more to the ceiling and slide your right elbow forward towards your ankle. Now press your right hip to the mat and slowly round it all the way up, twisting to that other side. We connect inside of the left elbow to inside of right knee. Pull into the stomach, you'll get some ab work here as you open the right elbow to the ceiling. Flexing both heels to the mat. Slide the left elbow forward. And then slowly bring it back up. And we'll do that one more time, each side. Twisting, bringing it to the inside of that knee. Slide forward, press both hips down, create space between the hips and the torso. And lift all the way up. One more time this side, curling it down. Stretching that left elbow forward towards the ankle. Drop the left hip, twist a little more. And coming back up. But we'll open the legs even more, finding like a big straddle stretch. As far as you can get it. And then take the knees and really open them directly side and maybe even towards the back of the wall. We'll take your arms out, lift it over towards the right toes and reach past the right toes with the left hand. 
you can point the toes or flex, whatever feels best here. I like to point on this one. And then you'll start to just open the chest more to the ceiling as you press in with the right elbow to right knee, trying to reach over your leg more. And then you'll bring the arm down by your hip. You'll start to curl towards the knee, reach past the toes and open it like a circle with the arm. And one more time, curl, reach with those fingertips up and all the way down in the center. We'll start to walk your arms forward over towards that right side as you're pressing the hips strong into the mat. Walking them towards the center. Reach with those fingertips. Maybe you can slide the hips forward more and inch your fingers more and just breathe there. Big exhale out. Even if you want to rock side to side slightly with the pelvis. One more breath, almost think like you're going to go into a flat back as you get closer towards the ground. And then walking it over towards the left side. And your, your legs try to go back even further as you bring the pelvis more forward because now we're getting really into the stretch. You'll start to open the right arm up to the ceiling. Lengthen the right fingertips long and circle the arm away. Start to reach forward towards the leg and then open the body up. Reach and circle your arm. Reach forward and open. The energy never stops moving. You can keep opening that arm, twisting your body like a rope one more time. Both hips press to the mat and lifting it up. Good, right, we're gonna come onto your hands and knees. Getting out of that is not so fun. <laughs> and we'll just press your arms into the mat. Now finding just a neutral spine here, you're gonna to start to just pull your weight back and then bring it forward. Testing some of the weight on your hands. Two more times there, forward and back. Finding the center and you're gonna curl your whole body under as you press the mat away. Really press as strong as you can so you're in that hyperextended cat shape. And now you're just gonna untuck the pelvis. The upper body stays curled. And now pull the pelvis back under you. And again, you'll open just the pelvis and curl it under. One more time. The hips release, and then you pull and round. And now you'll start to bring that upper body with it. Open it out. Inhale here and exhale, curl and deepen it. Pressing into the shoulders now with the hands all the way into the mat. One more time. Taking up all the space, you'll make a circle to the right. So that upper body starts to go to the right, the head goes up, and then it goes to the left as it curls under. The hips are just gonna follow. So just focus on that head making that circle. And it goes up and around. One more time, the hips are gonna do their thing. And reverse, we go towards the left, lift up and press into the mat as you curl. Finding freedom in that spine. Two more.
And last one here. You'll start to open the spine out as you send the hips back. You're finding yourself in like a child's pose here. And then you'll start to round your spine as you press into the mat, all the way up as you bring the body forward, opening the chest here to the ceiling. Maybe a little squeeze of your glutes and then press your hands to the mat as you send it back. Curling through the spine as you press in and round. Bring it forward, open the chest. And send it back. One more time, curling forward. Open it out. Doesn't have to be perfect, just feeling that curve in your spine. And then send it back, really press into the mat here when you're in that child's pose. We're gonna send the weight slightly forward as we lift your hips to the ceiling and open up the palms to the ceiling as you send the chest down. Now your back is getting a nice stretch. You're bringing the shoulder blades together, almost as if you can pick the chin up and just place it down on the mat. I'd bring it back up. We're going to lift your hips to that down dog position. And really try to bring the chest all the way forward. Shaking the head no. We're going to lift that right leg all the way up to the ceiling. And start to curl through the spine as you bend the knee, bringing it forward. Placing that foot right in between your hands and then slide that left toe back more. Now you're in this lunge shape. You can just come up to the fingertips there. Feeling a stretch on that left side. Lowering the knee all the way down to the mat. And then reaching that left arm up and over toward the side as you can just lean over toward the right more. That left arm circles around and come down and reaches in circles. Two more, reach and reach. Bring it back down. We're gonna rotate those right toes out to the corner as you bring it down to your forearms. Feeling a stretch in the back of the right thigh. And I like to just rock side to side in the shape. And one more breath out. You'll come up to the hands, take that right arm behind you, grab the tops of the left toes and just try to pull that leg in, stretching the top of that left thigh. I'm thinking about tucking your pelvis under you to get a little bit deeper in that stretch. And you'll keep turning towards that side as you just open up that right hip there. And then bring it back up, tucking through the left toes, lengthening that leg. And now we're just gonna open the left hip and draw it back in and lift the heel. And we open the left hip and draw in and lift for four and draw it in and three, two, one, you'll start to lift that leg up. We're gonna try to grab the right hand behind that right foot and just balance. You can keep that left hand on the mat, but try to lift that left foot all the way up to the ceiling. So you're in a standing split. And I really think arching your back as you try to get the head closer to the ground. 
and slowly start to descend. We'll bring that foot back up. We're gonna do that whole other side. Pressing the heels into the ground. Lifting the left foot up to the ceiling. You'll curl through the spine as you round. Place it right in between the hands there. Drawing those right toes back. And you'll feel a stretch in the right hip flexor. Starting to come up to the fingertips. Reaching further back with that knee as you lower to the ground. Left hand will come out to the side as you reach the right arm up. And circle it down and reach. That right hip is pressing parallel to the ground. Two more there. And bringing it back. But we'll rotate those left toes to the corner and come on to the forearms. And if you want a deeper stretch here, talk through the right toes, lift the right knee a little further back. Breathe through the side of that hip. Two more deep breaths there. You can rock side to side. And picking it back up to the hands, we'll reach around with that left arm. Grabbing the tops of the right toes and just pulling that leg through the pain. Pull, pulling the pelvis in and up so that you get more of a stretch through the top of the right thigh. And you can play around with where your weight is to get more of a stretch, so rocking is good. One more deep breath there. You'll release it and then just keep turning towards that direction. As you just open the body, getting a stretch through the left hip. Bringing it back up. You'll start to straighten that right leg. Good, so now we're gonna pull that right hip back and then pull it forward as we will lift the right heel. And open up the hips to send it back and forward as you lift. So we're finding some rotation in the hips. Lift for two and pull it back. One. Start to peel the right toes off as you lift that leg up. I'm gonna try to grab behind the heel with either hand really, whatever's more comfortable. Finding that standing split, other arm is just supporting you. And think about bringing your head closer to the ground. Full inversion here. So we're resetting the blood. Getting a major hamstring stretch. And slowly start to bring your body back down. Your foot back down. We're gonna lift the hips back up to that down dog. And start to bring the chest towards the floor. Bring the knees wide. And we're gonna take this hip stretch as you just open, and do it this way so you can see. You can come on your mat this way. Open the knees wide against the mat, as wide as you can get. And this is gonna be a very painful stretch. <laughs> and just rocking forward and back here as you just try to open your hips. And notice what is painful and just try to stay there in that moment. 
as you just exhale. So ideally your knees are gonna be all the way side, but it doesn't work for every body type, but that's what you imagine. It's mostly for like ballerinas in ABT that can just spread into full straddle and their hips are super turned out. Two more times there, reaching forward and back. And then start to make your way back up. It's gonna be a little bit painful as you lift the knees up, walking your feet side, you'll bend your knees. And then just try to stay in that position. If this is good for you, you can take your hands in prayer shape there and really use the strength of your arms and your elbows to press against the knees, tucking through the pelvis and lengthening that upper body. And just one more breath in and out. Maybe the hips drop down an inch and open up more. And then take your arms to the mat, start to extend. Walking the feet in, toe heel, toe heel, until you're all the way together. Wherever you are here, either grabbing the thighs, the calves, or the ankles, try to bring your nose to your knees. And just hold that balance and breathe. Releasing your hips. You'll let your arms go bending your knees ever so slightly, and then press the heels to the mat as you roll up. Feel this resistance in your spine, rounding, pressing the pelvis forward, tucking the hips underneath you. The head comes up last, and then roll your shoulders back. Ah, let's take the left arm up and just reach it over for this ending stretch. Pulling the pelvis forward to feel that support. Lifting it up and over to the other side. Reach. And bringing it back. And you are all done.